Welcome back to more photography challenges, guru shots. Or wait, photography, guru shots. You know what? I still haven't got a proper name for this, but I don't care. Uh, celebrating New Year's because it's January 1st. Um, and I did get a snapshot of when this turned to 800,000, which will probably be the thumbnail. But as you can see now, it's 826,000. And I've gotten almost 1,200 achievements now, and I have over 300 followers. So that's pretty darn awesome. Taking a look at the new top five here. Tree still kicking butt at over 14,000, top 100 rank. Nice is at 30%. This frog, still unranked. I, I just don't know. I think it's a fantastic picture, but I guess people just don't like frogs. This one's top 5%. This one's top 30%. And now let's go for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoa, let's go back up just a little bit. I like this picture, so I'm glad it started to get some more stuff. But my top 10 is literally everything is ranked except for that frog. And I just don't get it. But... Let's catch up, because I have been sick for the last two weeks, but that ended about three or four days ago. So, all right, just getting a look at the last few award thingies. I've got three layers of it now. But um, this is really, I think this is, I got another one of those maybe since last time I recorded it, and this, and this, I think. Which is exciting because I wanted 5, 10, 20, and 30 because I wanted all of them. And now I have them for both picture and, uh, what is it? Photos in the challenge and overall top of the photographers, I guess, entering the challenges. Photographers in the challenge and this is top for the photos. So that's cool. All Star is right up there with Elite almost. Well, not about 150 behind it, but still. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> I think there was... Uh, this, is, this is just going to be complete scatterbrained. I haven't done this for weeks. So, uh... I think there was, um... A question on one of my YouTube videos, again, for this series... About swapping and someone not being able to do it successfully. I don't know if I explained that in the last one because it's been so long. And I I think that they said they were having trouble doing successful swaps. Which, as you can see, I'm the king of. I've gotten 232. I bet there's people that have gotten more. But I want to just explain that it's not really that difficult to do a successful swap. All you have to do... If you if you really want if you I don't know if you need those let me just look real quick before we look at the challenges because there's like sixty that you guys haven't seen let's look at this I don't know if you have to have successful yes one successful swap is needed for a rank up but I don't know if you need five or ten okay three are needed five are needed okay so at least five successful swaps so this is a necessary thing that I need to teach you guys successful swaps occur when you have one or four pictures for speed or regular challenges that need to be swapped out which you can do in any challenge at any time and then what you want to do if you want to make it successful uh, like join a challenge with like say 30 hours left so you don't have to waste a key or join a 24 hour challenge at before the 12 hour mark because as we learned in the last few videos, that is when the key is going to be unneeded because it's a speed challenge. And so what you do is basically you upload pictures, one to four, depending on the challenge. And then you pick a photo of it's getting the least amount of votes after a couple hours or say a day or two or whenever you join it. You swap it. And then you can either do one of two things. You can click the boost or you can vote manually. Or you can autofill the vote meter, but I would choose manually because they give you more exposure. I think I've learned that over the last few days or weeks that 
the more you manually do it, they're they're kind of begging people to manually do it because I think they're abusing their uh, their cheat thing now that they've changed a little bit. So you should really just manually vote. I do it like three or four times per con challenge. I was gonna say contest, but challenge now, and it really does help boost. And therefore, you will get a successful swap. But you can choose which photo to boost. So that's one easy way to get a successful swap and another way is just to vote a lot and boost do a combination of whatever or deliberately pick a picture that you don't think is that good and then pick it and replace it with one or swap it with one that you know is good like say if you had a picture of a banana a balloon a car and uh, a leaf all yellow for instance, I didn't do that, but let's just say for instance, that's all yellows. And so you swap the banana with, say, a field of daisies and a woman in a yellow dress with a yellow hat and a yellow sunset behind her or something. See, that would definitely do better than a simple banana, right? See, that's just an example. So do a picture that you don't think is good only if you have a better picture to upload after that to swap in its place. Or boost it after you swap with a picture that's not getting the most of the four or if you do a speed challenge and you do just one picture so if that helps with successful swapping because it is important to unlock the first you know three newbie rookie and challenger there you go now let's move on after i check real quick we got about three minutes uh that one was dumb because it was like that one was a premiere i know Shame on me. I slipped a bit. I re It was really an open concept, and those I really have trouble with because even though you can post anything, it's really difficult to get a picture that fits it. At first, I, wanted, I thought that maybe they wanted like 2018 on a picture, and I was like, that's stupid. I'm not going to enter that. And then I looked at it to vote, and not one had the year 2018 on it. So I was like, open interpretation, anything, the sky's the limit, and... Those challenges, you, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like them. All right. Um, I know I've gotten a lot of good ones. Blah, blah, blah. The same, same, same. So I think the last challenge you guys saw me do, for sure, I don't know was probably macro fields oh gosh i think it was a, it was definitely maybe a color challenge hmm it might be gosh i don't really know hmm must be right around here. These are looking familiar. Let's go one more just in case. Yeah, I think it was the purple ones, maybe. We'll go one more just in case. I think it was an orange challenge. Nope, it was the stripes or something. E anyways. As you can see, basically just the all-star elite. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. Skilled? I got a skilled? Oh my god, that's, I haven't got that since I joined the site two years ago almost. But it makes up with the top 20s and 30s and elites, 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 elites. Ugh, premiere. Ugh. But it's music, not my strongest. I got 10% for Field of Color. That's cool. <clears throat> I really kicked butt. At th the reason why I haven't been filming is not only have I been sick, but I've been. it's been really cold and I've been really bored and Wi-Fi has started to get crappy again. But also, um, I've I've been entering a lot of challenges. I've been really pushing the, for the end of the year. I entered like 20 or 30, I think, in the last week, which is pretty good. <clears throat> well, that cut unusually weirdly, so I'm going to just say, uh, again, thank you for the 300 followers. And the 1,100 achievements, which you all helped at some point. Well, not you guys particularly, but some of you. 
And I think I can reach a million by the end of the year because I've been averaging 100,000 every couple of weeks because I have been entering a lot more challenges and getting better ranks. And so that's going to help a lot. But uh, I, I, I still just need to get that victory, you know, that one victory. That's all it needs. I've gotten everything else. Let's show. Yeah, everything else. Just got to get that win. Ugh, I, I, I fear I'm going to get a new camera. That's what it's going to take. But who knows? Let's just take a look at the ones that we're entering. Or what I have entered now. You know, it sucks. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm a storm chaser and I've been certified since 2011 and it's 2019 now. A storm is coming should be one that I can easily dominate in, but I, the best photos I have are, again, from video, not from actual camera. From the last 12 years, I've gotten some of the most prolific, dangerous, beautiful lightning shots on the planet, and I would definitely win these challenges if I had those images, but they're so grainy and crappy I wouldn't bother uploading them. Okay, all about eyes. Again, I'm going to try frogs, because frog eyes. I mean, come on. It's all about frog eyes. It's all about the eyes, right? That can't possibly not get something good, and it's got a lease, so I'm happy about that. Now, as far as best animal, I'm disappointed. This should have way better than it is. All I saw for that challenge is a bunch of dogs. And though I have a dog, I've got deer, frog, bird, bird eyes, bird's eye view, frog eyes. I mean, deer in headlights. All of these are I referenced on daily, regular basis. But dogs, come on. These challenges are basically like giveaways, and you still you, they still don't give you the credit for it. I just, I don't get it. Sand is hard. I only have two or three pictures of those, but I figured I'd give it a whack. Shiny, shiny. I like that one, but I really didn't have too many for it. Uh, I don't like kid challenges, but I figured I had a couple funny ones in there. I'd give it a chance, and it's doing okay. Uh, this one was a fluke. I want to do the one with the apple. I still might swap that, but there's only six hours left, so I could I would have to do it like immediately after I stop recording this. And I I think I might because everybody is doing one with a leaf. Here's the thing: just because it's in the title of the challenge doesn't mean you need to copycat it. Okay? You know how many people probably stuck leaves and fences for that challenge? You know who you are. It's not that cool. Uh, the tree one, I'm surprised I'm not doing better because I took some really good pictures this year of trees. But, uh, those are the challenges I've entered, and, uh, I will see you guys next time for more Just Talk About Challenges, Gary Shots. Bye-bye. And Happy New Year's. Might as well throw that in there. Happy New Year for... This will be the year of just more photography, I guess, and whatever else, I guess, you know. Get that first video of the year out, Johnny. Woo! Mush, mush, mush. Goodbye. <laughs>